Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this video I'm going to show you those meteorites that do not look much like meteorite and these meteorites are classified so there's no doubt that they are a meteorite. I hope this video will help you identify your peculiar rock doubted for a long time because of its look like a meteor wrong, by comparing this meteorites that I am gonna show you to the rocks that you have. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only, any images and information was based on the article posted online by Washington University in St. Louis. In this video there are 14 meteorites that do not look much like meteorite and first of our list is the Gold Basin Meteorite Gold Basin was found in Mojave County, Arizona, USA on November 24, 1995. And it was classified as an ordinary chondrite L4. A meteorite was found in an area of arroyos draining the White Hills by Professor Jim Creek, UAZ, emeritus while prospecting for gold with a metal detector. As of 1997 November, 1484, stones have been recovered, with a total mass of 61.0 kilograms, from an area of approximately 130 square kilometers. The largest individual stone has a mass of 1.52 kilogram. Number 2. Birbol Meteorite. Birbol was found in Borga, Niland, Finland on March 1899. Weight of specimens, 62.0 grams, left on picture 2, 58.3 grams, right on picture 2. The close-up pictures are 6 by 8 millimeters. First detail picture shows a rare troilite rich vein top, the bluish mineral is not clearly identified now bottom. Second detail picture shows the Birbol crust. Birbol is a very friable chondrite. Therefore, most of all Birbol specimen around have no crust. One stone fell through the sea ice and broke into fragments, the largest of which weighed 80 kg, the total known weight being about 330 kgs. Number 3. Nyahinya Meteorite. Nyahinya Meteorite was found in Nyahinya, Ukraine on June 9, 1866 and it has a total mass of 500 kg. This is one of 19 approved meteorites classified as L5. For a long time Nyahinya was the largest known stony meteorite. At 280 kg, the largest fragment of this meteorite, which is estimated to have weighed 500 kg in total, was less left to NHM and to this day is considered to be one of the most spectacular objects in the collection. Number 4. Dalgetty Downs Meteorite. The Dalgetty Downs Meteorite was originally recovered in Australia in 1941 as 217 kg of broken fragments from a single large mass. But over the decades more Dalgetty Downs has been found and it has become clear that it was a fall of more than one stone. The total known weight is approximately 474 kilograms currently making it one of the largest falls of an L4 meteorite. Dalgetty Downs contains easily observed chondrules of many types. The stone is moderately shocked exhibiting mosaicism in the olivine grains. Dalgetty Downs is a classic of meteorites well represented in major collections worldwide. Number 5. Tulia B. Meteorite. The Tulia B. Meteorite find was first recovered by the legendary drive. Harvey Nininger from a farm in Swisher County, Texas in 1917. There was some confusion about whether or not this was part of a previous Tulia find, or if it represented a new meteorite from the same area. The question was eventually laid to rest in 1982 and it was acquired by the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. Tulia B is a L6 chondrite and it is one of four known meteorites found in the Tulia combined strewn field. Number 6. Tuate Meteorite. The Tuate meteorite was seen traveling westward as a fireball over Losotho toward the Tuate Plateau on July 21, 2002. An unusually long noise feature was heard with this bolide which lasted approximately 15 seconds. Villagers reported stones falling on and near their homes in several towns. The Tuate meteorite is a type H4 fix. Chondrite. Approximately 30 kgs of stones were recovered from this witnessed fall. The black fusion-crusted Tuate stones have a light gray interior with abundant grains of metal showing scattered across a cut surface. Some specimens have dark shock veins and show a brecciated interior structure. Rounded inclusions are seen along with chondrules that are easily visible. Number 7. Tatahuoyan Meteorite. Tatahuoyan Meteorite was found in Tatawin, Tunisia on 1931. Classification. Diogenite, and it has a total known weight of 12 kg. Following a tremendous explosion on June 27, 1931 a few pieces of this achondritic diogenite meteorite were found. In several phases of rediscoveries more pieces of meteorite have been recovered. 
Tatahuin meteorite is olive green with black veins up to 2 mm wide running through it. The Tatahuin meteorite is one of the finest examples of the rare diogenite classification of meteorites. Number 8. Erg Chech 002. Erg Chech 002 meteorite is an ancient andesite meteorite discovered in the Erg Chech region of the Sahara Desert in Algeria. It is believed to be a fragment of a chondritic protoplanet that is over 4.566 billion years old, and is believed to be the oldest known volcanic rock on Earth. Erg Chech 002 is an andesitic achondrite, a type of stony meteorite among the oldest known of to date. Its numerous fragments containing distinctive large greenish crystals. The short-lived radionuclide aluminum-26 isotope was a major heat source for early planetary melting. Number 9. Bachiangzi Meteorite. Bachiangzi Meteorite was originally found in China in 2012. It was classified as an EL7. At the time of classification, Bachiangzi was one of two L7s ever discovered. Since then, only one other has been found. As such, Bachiangzi is only one of three meteorites with this classification, and the only one not found in Northwest Africa. Additional pieces of Bachiangzi were discovered in 2019. This is one of the pieces that was found in 2019. The total known weight of this meteorite is listed in Medbull as being 1.2 kg. Number 10. Clarendon C. Meteorite. Clarendon C meteorite weighs 345 kilograms, 759 pounds, and it was found on April 6, 2015 in Clarendon Town, Texas. Clarendon C is classified as an ordinary chondrite, meaning that it's made up of tiny spheroidal mineral grains that came together when our solar system formed. Since about 80% of all meteorites are of this type, this one would not have a lot of scientific value. It originated from the asteroid belt and was found on April 6, 2015 by Frank and Didi Hamel on their ranch just outside of town. Weighing 345 kilograms, 759 pounds, it is by far the largest stone meteorite found in Texas, and the third largest stone meteorite ever found in the United States. Number 11. Golden Gate Mountain Meteorite. Golden Gate Mountain Meteorite was found in Arizona, USA on May 1, 2011. Classification. Ordinary Chondrite, H4. History. Ingrid, Twink, Monrad found the meteorite on May 1, 2011, while she was meteorite hunting in the area where the Cat Mountain meteorite was found. The stone was found on top of the sand in a little dry stream and was attracted to a magnet. Number 12. Northwest Africa 14,019 Meteorite. NWA 14,019 was found in Northwest Africa on 2021 and Purchased by Zio Wang in January 2021 from a dealer in Wargla, Algeria, with a total mass of 3.12 kg. It is a lunar meteorite feldspathic breccia, the exterior of this rock is just plain ugly. I think, but do not know for certain, that the shiny coating is not a fusion crust but a desert varnish. The Met Bull description does not say. Number 13. Northwest Africa 15237. NWA 15237 was found in Northwest Africa on 2022. Purchased by Zio Wang in March 2022 from a dealer in Agadir, Morocco, it's a Enstatite achondra. The significant degree of terrestrial weathering in this specimen, which has resulted in an inability to analyze the C content of fresh primary metal or the T and CR contents of primary iron sulfides, precludes a more specific class assignment. Specimens 18.3 grams including one polished thin section at UWB, remainder with Jiacheng Yu. Number 14. Northwest Africa 14918. NWA 14918 is an ordinary chondrite H7 found in Northwest Africa on 2022 with a mass of 2.69 kg. It was purchased by Zio Wang in April 2022 from a dealer in Agadir, Morocco. And those are the meteorites that don't look like much a meteorite, so if you have a weird looking rock think twice before throwing it away, because we don't know, maybe it's a one of those meteorite that travel thousand or million light years away to reach earth and you are the lucky person who found it. In conclusion, appearances can be deceiving, but even things that don't resemble meteorites can still hold cosmic secrets. Thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.